Adventure Quest Worlds 2022 High Saviors G here. Today we're gonna do an Adventure Quest World gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game. From the start, Adventure Quest Worlds is a 2D tab targeting fantasy MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here's the character creation, and I think this is also the account registration part. So, anyway, let's do this the way I do the character creation part. And here are the different classes. We got the healer over here. Here's the mage. Here's the rogue. And here's the warrior. We're gonna play as a warrior. And here's the character customization, guys. But before that, here's the female and here's the male version. Here's the character customization. We can change the hairstyle over here, skin color, hair color, eye color, and then create. What's happening? I can't see this part. Okay, anyway, I'm going to enter in some passwords and the email and all those good stuff. Then we're going to proceed with the gameplay. And we're in the game. There was a cutscene. I removed it. And now we're here. I think this is still a story. Next, 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 next. And we're in the game. Can we move? How can we move? Okay, point and click, guys. Click to move. And according to the tutorial, I need to double click this undead infantry. I guess it's to test out the attack. Oh, yeah. Click on the ground to walk. And we're, I thought this game was turn based. I remember watching my classmate play this, or probably another version of Adventure Quest. Yeah. Well, anyway, what are we supposed to do? Okay, so how about let's full screen it? Man, I can't find the full screen. Alt enter. Nope. Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna full screen it using the video editor. So, talk to the exclamation mark NPC. Is this it? Ash, night in training. More, 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 more. Back, 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 back. More, more, more. Okay, so he's not giving me anything. I think we need to go over here. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Now what? Click the bubble to talk. We're talking to the Lord. Talk to him. Blue arrow. Okay, I need to pay attention to this. Why? So, what about this thing? He wants me to click the bubble, but I can't really proceed or anything over here. He's just saying that I need to pay attention to the blue arrow. So how about this attack this infantry? Boom! We got some gold. Attack this dark fang. We got another gold. This is the tutorial part. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so they're mainly just stalling. They're not really progressing the story. So, ooh, a bone berserker. Let's attack it. Boom, one shot. There's another player over here. Oh man, what's happening? I can't attack this one. Okay, anyway, click on the NPC. Oh, okay, there goes the quest. Accept the quest. Now our first quest is hunt down this bone berserker, which I can't attack anymore because I attacked it already. <laughs> Let's attack it again. What's happening? It's red. I need to move closer. I am closer, right? Bruh. Talk to the NPC again. I'm out of range. So how about let's get out of here and then go back again over there and see if it changed. Nope. It didn't change. Oh, okay. There he goes. Now I can attack it. A few seconds ago, I can't attack the Bone Berserker. Now I can attack it, man. That's pretty odd. Okay. Turn over the quest. Complete. Turning in. And we got a Bonehead Bludgeon and a sword. Uh, I don't know what to pick here. So I think. I need to open up my inventory. Where's my inventory? Here. Equip this bludgeon. What is this? Okay, I think they're trying to sell me something. <laughs> We're gonna do that later. We're gonna check out the cash up. After maybe I've seen a decent chunk of the game. Okay, now let's proceed to this door. I mean, I'm liking the fact that we can explore the game. Because I was expecting a turn-based game without exploration. They're just kind of like in mobile games. But look at this. We can explore. And the combat is... Yep, this is tab targeting. What is this? Keep this item. What's happening, bruh? Oh, this one is tough. Okay, so let's take the quest from this guy. Probably he's gonna give me a quest to hunt down that skeleton guy. Nope. Talk to this guy again. Stats quest. Okay, there he goes. But what do I need to do? Training monster slain. Accept. Training monster. You mean this undead? Okay, let's go. They're kind of strong. 
game's tab targeting. We highlight an enemy and then we use the hotkeys. We hunted down two. How about you? You tough? Yep. Man, pretty much everything here is tough. Dodge. Why am I recovering HP? What's happening there? Is it because this is a tutorial area? Anyway, let's hunt down five. What's happening? What? Okay, I'm hunting down the last one. It spawned when the other guy died. And there he goes. Turn over the quest. Quest complete. What did we get? Spell scroll ticket, a shield, a cape, and another sword turning it in. I think he wants me to pick something over here. Come on. Okay, so how about the shield? Everything. Take everything. The cape. Okay, let's go. We got some stuff. Equip it. Gear of Doom, what is this? Spell scroll ticket, Venom Head. Am I already wearing this? I think it's not letting me equip my gears because I'm not sure sure. I think they want me to pay for something. So how about let's try equipping this shield. Did we equip the shield? Did we? I don't know, I can't really tell. What's this? Sheeted blades. Equip this. Okay, there it goes. I'm equipping it. Talk to this guy again. Quest. And again? Nope, we're not gonna do that again. Let's get out of here. How can we get out of here? Okay, over here. And we're out. Let's proceed. Now there's a girl over here. Click the bubble to open the shop. Shop. Okay, shop. Okay, we can buy stuff over here. Close this. Why is it asking me to still click this? Okay, I think we can skip that. Let's just proceed. Now this one. This is the enhancement guy. Enhancement shop. There he goes. Ooh. Why is it focused on this weapon? Adventurer's weapon enhancement. What? Okay, so how about let's try that. See how it goes. Apply. Ah. Let's try enhancing this green guard knight blade. And that's it. Cross this. Oh, okay. I can equip the swords but not this bludgeon. Okay, whatever. Let's proceed. Now I need to talk to Alina. Healing trainer. Click this. Healing badge. Rest. Okay, so this is how we heal. It's basically just a sit down. Let's move. Now I need to click the wall to break it. But I kind of want to test my new sword. Let's attack this bone crusher guy. Let's go. Oh, it's tough. Give me money. And there he goes. Dead. Talk to Siri. Interaction trainer. Okay. I'm clicking the wall. Now what? Let's go. I talk to this guy. He wants me to interact with the catapult. Okay. Watch the cutscene. No. Okay. Let's watch it. The catapult is okay. There's this. Skip. Now what? Okay, I need to proceed. Ooh, there's some kind of a creature over here. Talk to him. Zorbak. He said I need to approach that area. Okay, let's approach it. Another cutscene. Okay. Skip. Talk to this guy again. And I need to watch the cutscene. Okay. Are you really sure you want to do this? Yes, I really do. <laughs> Push. Push again. One more time. Uh oh, we're gonna ram it. Oh. <laughs> okay, skip this. There are people playing. Look at this. Now what? I need to talk to this again? Nope. Don't know where to go. How about let's go back and go over here. Now there's two NPC. Talk to this one. Fate chat trainer. How about this one? Emote trainer. Okay, it's kind of like Lost Ark. You need to type to do emotes. I need to click over here and then slash dance. There we go. So now we're dancing. <laughs> but now what? How about let's go to this door. It's asking me to upgrade again. How about this one? And cutscene. Knights defend the keep. And what is this? There's a dragon. Talk to this guy. Dragon Slayer. We're winning. Looks like this is a very low spec MMORPG. This is a full fledged MMORPG. I was expecting a very gimp MMORPG. But seems like this is legit. Okay, so let's interact with this dread dragon. I'm assuming we're going to have to attack him. Let's go. Whoa. It's breathing fire. You're not much, bruh. I think I'm just gonna recover HP. <laughs> oh, I'm not recovering HP. But still, you're gonna die. And he's dead. 
more cutscene. And as usual guys, we're gonna check out the cash shop. And here we are. It's called the Adventure Coin Shop. And before we start, prices. Here goes the prices guys. The cash shop currency is called Adventure Coin. And 900 AC is 5 USD. So, in here you can also buy the premium subscription. The membership, they call it here. Here's the 3 month membership for 20 USD. And you also get 1000 Adventure Coin. Here's the 1 year membership. And they also give you 7,000 adventure coin plus an exclusive armor for 58 USD. And here's the effect of the membership guys. You have access to 6,000 plus members only weapons and items. And I checked the weapons here and they're all the same. I mean like the ones that you get in game and the ones that you get in the adventure coin shop, they're all the same. It's big, The difference is the looks. Now anyway, you can also have access to member only servers exclusive area stories and boss battles okay but do we get loot there like some kind of a special loot well i'm not gonna check that out and according to this there are more classes that's only accessible if you're a member if you have the premium subscription this is tricky though are those exclusive classes strong because if they are very strong stronger than the default classes then you can consider this Wink wink. And then what else? We can create our own guild, adopt pets, treasure keys a month. So we will progress a bit faster because we get two free treasure keys a month. Then we can use special emotes. Okay, that's fine. So that's the premium subscription. So let's check out the actual items over here. Look at this guys. There's a weapon in the cache. Okay, let's go to the weapon tab. There are three weapons over here and they're all pretty much the same. And look at the description, they have stats. This is nothing. But again, technically, this is a weapon that you can buy in the cash shop. They have stats. You can buy a weapon in the cash shop. But this is nothing. You buy this basically for the looks. Now let's move on to the second tab, the armors tab. They have a lot of armors over- Wait a minute, is this an armor? I think this is a mount. Look at this, a spaceship. Okay, whatever. Here's an arcanist robe. Looks cool. A doom knight prime costume, fantasy warrior costume, iron hide plate, labamancer robes. This one looks cool. I'm liking this one. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot to say. There are two ways to acquire the cash up currency here. You can either buy it, you know, the usual way, or you can do surveys, signups. Man, where did I find it? But anyway, they're calling it A extras. You can do that and get free cash up currency. So that alleviates the advantage of people abusing the cash up. But as I see it, most of this are just cosmetics. It doesn't matter. You buy this stuff for the looks. Okay, let's move on to the headgears. Here's the first headgear. What? An alien overlord bubble. Okay, it has stats, but again, this is nothing. Here's an evil oversock set. Ah, oh, that's look. Wow, that looks weird. <laughs> Okay, I can select the capes and here's the pets guys. You can buy pets. Here's the Twilly Bank pet and the Zorback pet. And according to the description, this is a bank pet. Click on Zorback at any time to open your bank anywhere in the game. So this is a convenient item. It's gonna help you a lot if you buy this. And then there's nothing else but this treasure map. Is that it? Okay, anyway, I also found out that you can use your cash up currency in the featured gear shop. It's kind of like an auction. Look at this. You can use it over here. This one costs 350 AC. A level 1 weapon. Look at this. A lightsaber. You buy this because of the looks. And there's a lot of cosmetics in this game. You're really gonna dress up over here. It's just the face of my character kind of looks weird. <laughs> okay, here's the capes. This is where you buy capes. Is this capes? I think this is just some kind of a effect. From out of the darkness, you hear whispered chant. Rise and fear floods your heart and mind. Okay, it's a cape. I guess we see it at the back. How about the pets? Okay, there are more pets over here. I guess these are the pets that you can get in game. And look at this. They're selling this pet for gold. Okay, so we can buy stuff over here using gold. But anyway, this is not the cash shop. Let's go back and play the game. Okay, so I check out the cash shop. And yeah, maybe I accidentally clicked the other options and then I got teleported to some kind of a housing. Then I got out of there and then I'm here. I don't know what to do. I accidentally exited out on the tutorial part. So how about 
Let's interact with the bubbles over here. See how it goes. Help him. And cutscene. What are those? Pokemons? Now I can pick a quest. Okay. Take a quest. Mogzard. Mogzard captured. What? He want me to catch a monster? Okay. So how about let's take another quest. I can't take any quest from here. Look at this guys. There's a lot of people playing this game. And I'm kind of not liking this area because the frame rate is very low in this area. I want to get out of here. It hurts my eye. Okay, there it goes. Now the frame rates is kind of fixed because there's only a few players over here. Man, this game is kind of impressive because I've seen this game for a while. I think like 2009 and it's still very active. When I logged into the server, I think there's like a thousand plus on the global server. There's a lot of servers, by the way. And one of the global servers, I picked the server with the most players. I think it's about a thousand and it's impressive for an old game. Look at this. There are people PvPing over here. I think this is my quest. Wait a minute. Is this my quest? Okay, how about let's try attacking this guy? Attack him! I thought it's another player, but I think that's my target. I need to capture it, get all of these items. The music is kinda annoying. It would play even though I'm switching it off. Look at this. Music off. If I get out of this place, it would turn on again. Half Dragon Void Mage. Take a quest from this one. Oh, Zep. Are they guiding me on where to go? What do you want me to do? Okay, anyway, so how about let's just take a lot of quests. <laughs> Cheap Tooth. Oh, Zep. Funny Bone. Oh, Zep. Now let's try to get out of this place. Here's the Forge. The Barber Shop. Librarium. Okay. Apothecary. I think this is where we exit out. Yes. And we're out. Let's attack this guy. Why can't I use this skills? Defeat him. We get a quest? Nope. Probably not the target. Okay, so how about let's take a quest from this one? Lore Master Lydia. Man, there's a lot of story in this game. I didn't expect this from a browser MMORPG. Ooh, let's attack this Frogzard. I think this is the target. Oh, Mogzard. <laughs> Anyway, destroy these guys. And see if we're gonna get anything. Nope. Can we get a quest? Give me a quest. Ninja Grudge. Oh, accept that quest. We're just gonna explore, guys. And see how far we can go. Till we die. <laughs> okay, there's a slime over here. Let's try fighting it. And see if it's gonna give us something. Hey, wait a minute. Can we add stats here? Character, character page. Nope. Attack this guy. We got a new skill. Imbalancing strike. We leveled up. Let's proceed. There's another quest over here. Take it. Quest. Hardly suiting armor. There's a lot of quests here. Now what's this? I think this is an entrance to an instance dungeon. No, let's not enter that area. Let's get out of here. Seed spitter. Let's go. Imbalancing strike. Man, it's level 25. Uh-oh. Get out of here. <laughs> it's level 25. Okay, let's go back to that area, Green Guard. What's the level of the frogs are? Level 7, but I can beat them. How about the slime? The slime is level 5. Let's go back to the starting area. How about this Kitarian? It's also level 5. Okay, let's just hunt them down. Level up. Where's my EXP bar? Okay, there it goes. And he's defeated. Let's proceed over here. Ooh, what is this? There's some kind of a uh, shining thing over here. Do you want me to? Oh, a portal to another place. Let's go there. Uh oh, <laughs> I think this is a boss. Oh, okay. It's a level 12. I think we can defeat this. Let's go. I think. There's a lot of HP. 23k. <laughs> Should we fight this? Uh oh. Let's fight this to the death. gonna die bro i'm gonna die <laughs> and that's adventure quest worlds from the start i was caught off guard by this game because honestly i was expecting a below minimum mmorpg because you know look at the graphics but having played the game and seeing what the game really is i must say it's a full-fledged 
MMORPG. There's exploration, time targeting combat, of course, and there's story. Now, we start off with the tutorial, which is pretty basic. You can just skip it. And then what I found out is the story is accessed through a menu, which I guess gives you the power to start whatever you want or it kind of makes it optional and not forced and there are some story that you gotta pay to access so keep that in mind now the graphics is 2d and the art style there's a certain charm to it and since it's 2d it's really low spec which is nice more people can play it now let's talk about the performance it's the usual if there's a few people around it runs great but when there's a lot of people, then it's low frame rate time. All in all, Adventure Quest Worlds is still very playable. And there's still a decent amount of people playing it, so there's people to play with. Now, if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.